Hello friends, it's Harit from Bonsai Labs. In today's video, I will show you one way to change the border color of Material UI text field. But before you see how to do that, I would like to say that use the theme colors as per the material design guidelines. They will help you implement a consistent design across your app. Material UI comes with a default theme implementation out of the box that you can leverage in your projects right away. They also have a great extensive documentation on how you can create your own custom theme. So if you have your theme set, you ideally do not need a way to customize the border color of text field. But if your use case needs to, let's find out how to do that. I will go to the Material UI website and search for text field component. Once the page opens, I will click on the pencil icon which says Edit in Code Sandbox. This opens up Code Sandbox in a new tab with the entire code for all the text fields. Next, I will open up demo.js which contains the code for the demo and remove the two text fields keeping the outline variant. Now, we are using UStyle's React hook for styling. So I will add a new style object called text field and add a border property with one pixel solid blue color. Then I will add a class name property to the text field component and add the value of classes.textField to it. We can observe that our text field now has a blue border. But as I hover, we can see that the original border still exists and we got the additional border on the text field component. So clearly, adding a border to the text field did not help. Let's go back to the Material UI documentation on the text field and look at the API section. Here, you will find the input base component which serves as the base implementation for the text field component. As I click on that, we can see that the code explains how to import input base. I am now going to make use of it. Back in the code sandbox, I will first add the import for input base. Then, I will copy the current text field component call and replace it with input base. As I refresh, we can now see two text field, one using text field component and another using input base. We can continue to customize our text fields now. For example, adding a border radius property to text field style object adds the border radius to both the text fields. However, our input base component looks no way closer to the text field component. So let's customize it further. First, I will change the prop label to placeholder in input base because that's what it is called in input base. Next, I will copy the text field style object and call it input base. Next, I will replace the class name for input base to use classes.inputBase. Now I will add the height property to input base and also add the padding property to it. With that, we can see we have changed the border of the text field component by customizing its base, which is input base. Fantastic. So next time, if you are in a need to customize the text field component, you would know how to do it yourself. If you have any ideas that you would like us to cover, please write in the comment below and we would be happy to create content on it. Thank you and see you next time.